Hey, Clint Community Family, it's me, Pastor Eddie. This is Justin King. I'll let him introduce himself here in one second. I want to get y'all caught up on what's going on. If you're watching this video, you're probably watching on YouTube. Uh, we've actually switched a lot of uh, what we do other than our live stream Sunday morning over to YouTube. Uh, and we're actually going to present our YouTube a little different. Instead of doing our Sunday night live stream like we used to do and things of that nature, we're actually going to have a, a couple more pre-recorded videos that we do. And we're going to have two different series that we do uh, once a month. What I mean by that is this series will happen once a month and the other series will happen once a month. So there will be bi-weekly videos. This series is going to be all focused on growing. We want to help you become growing followers of Christ. So we're going to teach you object lessons and really help you grow in the Lord. The other series is going to be on connecting. What it is is we're going to continue to interview and talk to people of Clinton Community Church so you can connect with them. And hopefully that can grow where we can connect with other people, even you online who are part of our online community. So guys, really excited to offer you that, and that's what we're going to do today. But with before we go any further, this is Justin King. He is a leader here at the church of our young adults ministry, and I'm going to let him tell him. Look, go ahead, man. You just talk about yourself. Myself. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, yep, uh, he already said my name. Um, I am one of the young adults leaders here at Clinton Community Church. Uh, I mean, I also help with the youth too, but uh, myself, uh, Jason King, Emily Brown, Austin Williams, we were kind of under the umbrella of Pastor Dwayne trying mm -hmm. to figure out a space for the young adults uh, age group. And so a couple things with that, we've been, we've got Sunday night Bible studies. We've been looking at first Samuel. Riveting. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> always amazing. <laughs> Old Testament stuff. Um, and then we have once a month, we try to do a Thursday night uh, worship and word night uh, to get together for worship. We have somebody give a sermon, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, we also have hangouts. We eat food together, you know, all the kind of stuff that is surrounding um, uh, the more, I don't want to say business side, but, you know, of getting into the Word and all that kind yeah. of stuff. Um, but uh, we've been really blessed uh, in trying to navigate this space. We have a decent amount of people who have been benefiting from it, and uh, we're just excited to see what else the Lord has for us as we continue moving forward in it. So that's kind of a little bit about me as far as what I'm doing as far as leadership. And, yeah. and, and we'll interview you and your uh, brother, uh, Jason, later. I've uh, mentioned it to both of you also. Look forward to that episode when we do our connecting side of our bi-weekly stuff. Not saying that's going to be the next time, but we will have them interviewed sooner or later. But tonight, we're going to start our um, sort of our object lessons. We're going to use different things to explain the gospel of Jesus Christ, your relationship with Jesus, uh, uh, how to grow in him and stuff like that. God willing, this is the first time of many with uh, Justin helping me. But uh, the reason he's helped me today is because you have a really cool trick that you want to show us. I do. He Very is going cool. to solve a Rubik's Cube Blind. blindfolded. <laughs> uh, he said that I couldn't be with him when he does this, that it would blow my mind. So yeah. we want to show it to you guys. Check this out. How'd you do that, boss Mind man? Blown. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I can't solve a Rubik's cube at all. How did you do that? I'm just skilled, man. Uh, the, I just apparently, have the skills. That's all it is. Like, what was the process of being able to figure out how to do that? It's a little trick I like to call editing. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't do that at all. At all, yeah, no, actually, <laughs> that's uh, a little uh, thing that I told him. I picked up off of watching uh, MythBusters. They did something that was really cool. All we did was just play that in reverse, like. Just to give you all a heads up, when you buy a Rubik's Cube, they're already solved. That's true. Thank God, because I can't solve a Rubik's Cube. Otherwise, we probably would not have done this video. <laughs> <laughs> Just being yeah, honest. Just being honest. Like, I don't know how to solve one. You don't know how to solve one. We don't know how to put them back together, but we do know how to mix it up. And the cool thing is, is if you mix it up and then you play it backwards, 
it looks like you're an awesome master or something. You know? <laughs> it looks like you solved something. <laughs> you solved something. The thing is, is, is that's the thing with all of our lives is we don't know really how to solve things. We're left a mess. We don't know how to fix it. And we give a facade like we know what we're doing. And uh, that doesn't include any of us. We all need a savior and we need help. And we learn about this uh, in Romans 3, 23, first off, it says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There's no one excluded. All in the original language in Greek still meant all. <laughs> like everyone, man. There's not some loophole. <laughs> yeah, there's no one missing there. Um, all of us need help. All of us need a savior because all of us fallen short. And it tells us that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. That's Romans 6, 23. Mm-hmm. If all have fall short and all have sinned, all of us, our, our, our wages for our sin is death. But God steps in and he gives us eternal life through Jesus Christ. And how does he do that? It says in Romans 5, 8. Uh, but God demonstrated his own love towards us and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Mm-hmm. Um, we did nothing to earn this, to gain this, to... to to, to garner any more thing, God loved us while we were still against him and sinners. And even though we should pay the price, he paid the price. And all we have to do is confess with our mouths and believe in him. We hear that in Romans also, so that we can be saved. So we don't have to continue living a facade like we're not falling apart. Like we don't have to fake and, and act like we know how to do something or figure something out that we can't. That in reality, we trust in him and rely on him. I know we've we've tried to record this a few times. <laughs> surprise, surprise, and and uh, we've we've not done good. So I know that there's something on your heart because me and you come from two different worlds. I was unchurched. You were raised in church, mm-hmm. and you see this slightly through a different perspective. So yeah, yeah. So my dad's a pastor, and he did a very good job of raising me and my brothers. Mm-hmm. Um, they did the best they could, but you know how it is. You grow up, and you kind of for wherever you receive it from, you mm-hmm. accept things that maybe your parents wouldn't have wanted you to. And so one example for that, or of that for me is, he comes from the unchurched side, Pastor Eddie does. I come from the, um, I heard the gospel, but I kind of interpreted it in a way it wasn't meant to be. Mm-hmm. So I thought of it as like, okay, we need to do good things. And obviously my parents would never say this to me, my dad doesn't teach that, but for whatever reason, I just received, I need to work to earn a place. Mm-hmm. You know? And so um, one idea of that scripture wise, another idea, from, he talked about Romans Road, the story of the prodigal son, go to Luke 15, the gospel of Luke 15, read it if you like word pictures or stories, Jesus uses those a lot. But the basic idea of it is there's two different sons and they both represent these two different sides. Mm-hmm. One represents the the side where, okay, someone's like obviously a sinner, like they don't know, they're, they're not church folk, they don't, they're not faith people. Um, and then there's the other side of it that is the people who are religious and they think that because of what they do, they're going to have a place in heaven, they're going to have a place with the Lord, you know. And basically Jesus is talking to both groups right there. Like I said, read it yourself, it's a good story. But he comes at both of them from the point of view of like, you both need me. Mm-hmm. You both need the Father. You both are in a place where you're kind of putting on something that you weren't meant to wear. You're pretending like you're that perfect Rubik's Cube when you're the unfixed Rubik's <laughs> Cube. And you need me to help fix you. You know what I'm saying? You need me in your life. So anyways, that's a, that's part of my story is more from that religious side of the Lord being like, hey, you need a savior. You know, you, yeah. need, you need a savior. You don't need to just be someone who's good and do good things. But your life after you've received Christ, that'll be like the overflow of that relationship. You'll do good things from Christ, not towards Christ. Does that make sense? Yeah. um, You don't earn the salvation, but after being saved, you want to work. Exactly. (laughs) Yeah. Exactly. And um, it's just like I said, it's always interesting. I think it's cool that we do come from different perspectives and see the different needs. Because for me, I just thought, you know, everyone just went to heaven in general. You're over here like, I got to work to heaven. I'm just like, I just got to die. You know what I mean? And then. And then both of us come to the same reality. No matter where we're at, we need Jesus. So um, if you will, man, I want to thank you guys for joining us. Hopefully you enjoyed that little trick. Uh, We can show you uh, after you uh, watch all this. We'll sort of show you how we did the uh, 
play it in reverse. We'll have some music. We'll, I'll, I'll have some uh, screenshots of how I flipped the video and stuff like that. So you can see what we actually did. Um, but uh, uh, without, without, without it further ado, man, I'm going to let you sort of just uh, pray us out, man, and, and, and really hopefully close out this first of many videos that we'll have on people growing in Christ. So Sounds good. Well, Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for uh, just the opportunity to be a part of a video like this with Pastor Eddie. Uh, God, thank you for um, the, the uh, gift of object lessons. Mm. Lord, to be able to kind of simplify and help us kind of re-experience uh, different ideas, different principles from your word and different, uh, well, really truth, you know, mm. the reality of where we are at in our lives, the reality that um, you recognize us where we're at. You know, you recognize there's nothing that's hidden from you, number one, but number two, it's like you see the unfinished Rubik's Cubes that each one of us are, and you're like, hey, I have an idea of what it looks like for you to be a complete Rubik's Cube. Mm. You know, uh, you're not stuck. You're not lost. You're not um, in a place where you can't be found or saved or healed or made whole, like all these different things, Lord, that, uh, that you're the one that orchestrates, that works behind that process uh, if we will give our lives to you. And so, Lord, I just pray for whatever group um, that uh, we mentioned that maybe people that are viewing fall into, whether they uh, grew up in the church and they're just so used to church culture and they kind of received it like I did of like, oh, I, it's more about I just need to kind of check off the list. I need to kind of work unto salvation. Uh, Lord, we pray for those people. We pray that they would have a revelation of what it means that they need a Savior, what it means that they don't have to perform in front of you, but they can be who they are, and you see their fullness. And Jesus, you're the one who is going to heal them. You're the one who's going to save them from their sin. And you're the one that's going to ultimately work through them uh, post-salvation <laughs> to have works flow into their life that are actually worthwhile and good. And maybe you're in the camp with uh, Pastor Eddie where you kind of, you didn't really grow up in the church. And you came from this background of like, I just re really didn't know. Like it wasn't part of my family's teaching. Uh, Lord, we weren't really around church, that kind of thing. Um, but like if you're a part of that group as well, we just pray for you. I pray that your your hearts would be open to who the Lord is, that you, you would also have that uh, understanding of what it means to need a Savior, what it means um, that all of us, like I'm not pointing fingers at you, all of us, uh, me included, Pastor Eddie included, all of us would come to the revelation of, hey, I'm not perfect. God had a design for the world, and it's something, it was broken. But Jesus is the answer to that. And so we just pray that all each group would have that revelation. Each group would come to know you, God, as you are. Um, and Lord, that you just continue to bless us as well as we try to figure out what it looks like to do video content like this and object lessons and that kind of stuff. So we pray that in Jesus' name. Uh, amen. Amen. And guys, um, we really do hope you enjoyed. Please comment. Uh, you'll see snippets of this on Facebook uh, if you're on our Facebook. But this is mainly going to be uh, YouTube uh, content that we're going to try to grow. Um, we hope you enjoy. Like I said, not so much bloopers. We'll just show you how we actually did it in reverse. We hope you enjoy uh, some of that footage. Uh, but other than that, guys, if no one else has told you, let us be the first today. We love you. We believe in you. And we believe God has a great plan for your life. And uh, we can't wait to see you next week. Or not next week, I guess. Next time. Next God time. bless. <laughs> Thank you.